let us discuss user defined primitives user defined primitives as we have built in gates and switch primitives likewise user defined primitive the name itself is suggesting uh, telling user defined primitive so we can describe any hardware that we are looking for or we are uh, desiring for so that can be described uh, using this user defined primitive feature in a very large history there are two types of UDPs. One is a combinational UDP, the other is a sequential UDP. In a combinational UDP, uh, the, uh, elsewhere I will be referring it to C U D P and then sequential UDP S U D P. So here in point number three, you see how we instantiate UDP, the way we use it to instantiate our gate primitive or switch primitive, it's like uh, and space and then uh, instantiation name and within parentheses first output uh, followed by that inputs so like that we have to instantiate now let us go to next slide UDP basics here you, UDPs are defined as an independent of modules means within module and end module we are not going to write separately we are going to write with the help of keyword primitive and end primitive so uh, I am emphasizing here this point end primitive is a single word it is not that there are two words end is different and the primitive in between there is a space no end primitive so it's a standalone we are not going to write this one UDP within a module and end module separately we are going to write with, with the keyword primitive and then we are going to wind up the description with the end primitive so let us go to next slide UDP two forms are there. One form is port list declaration. The other form is port list type declaration. So this is 2005 language standardization and this is 1995 language standardization. So here the way we uh, list out first uh, port identifiers, maybe input and outputs, we list out here. Uh, but here if you look at, we even declare them apart from listing them. That is the difference in a form 1 and form 2. Here you remember this uh, output underscore port is the only uh, thing and uh, here input ports. So here uh, from this we can conclude we have only one output. There could be several inputs. So now the way we use it to uh, declare type port type declaration with the help of keyword output and with the help of keyword input likewise we even uh, do uh, the same declaration as uh, uh, you know port association in a primitive uh, for user different primitives as well so here reg is the keyword used this is only for applicable for only sequential UDPs. As I stated, we do have combinational UDPs and sequential UDPs. So output needs to be redeclared with the keyword reg. This is applicable for only sequential UDPs. So initial, if you want to assign uh, in this uh, output underscore port or out, uh, uh, output port. So what is that we have to do is we assign you in a initial so remember no always here only initial always and initial are sequence uh, uh, you know procedural blocks so initial is the only procedural uh, block that is used in primitives so after that we have to describe our hardware here so our functionality here that is this done within a table and end table so in subsequent slides you will see so and then finally once you have done with this description then end primitive let us go to the next slide in this next slide points to remember very very important all these points are first argument must be the output port and the other arguments are input ports this is the point number one in a module you can have first inputs uh, being declared and later on output primitive user different primitives first it is compulsorily output port only followed by that input ports either way can be done in module and end module so second point is a udp can have exactly one output port but can have multiple input ports so 
this is stated already point number 3 the maximum number of inputs is limited by implementations but must have at least 9 inputs for sequential udp and 10 inputs for combinational udp so it can go even beyond this but minimum uh, must have at least so uh, nine inputs for sequential udp and 10 for combinational udps let us go to the next slide here all ports of udps are scalar all ports input ports and output ports are scalar type no vector type they cannot be bidirectional in out ports or vector ports in out in out is a keyword if bidirectional port is there then we have to uh, declare it with a in out so this is not there in primitive the output can only have a single bit value with one of three states output can have only single bit value of uh, obviously because scalar so only single bit that uh, value could be 0 1 or x the high impedance z is not supported the z values passed to udp inputs are treated as x values if you are providing a z high impedance state for testing purpose then that will be treated as x the behavior of a udp is defined by a state table so this is the behavior what hardware that you are going to describe so that is done with a uh, state table state table begins and is terminated with the following keywords table and table as we have seen previous uh, in our previous slides each row of the table defines the output for a particular combination of the input values and is terminated by a semicolon each row is terminated by a semicolon and a particular combination of input values will define the output the permitted values for input ports and outputs are as stated earlier 0 1 and x high impedance is not allowed the order of the input ports of each row must be exactly the same as they are in the port list in port list you have a comma b here also for a related input needs to be declared and for b related input needs to be declared not that first for b you are declaring and later on for a no so now udps let us summarize udps user defined primitives model functionality only they don't model timing or process technology we cannot have uh, timing delays like hash 2 so such delays are not allowed timings are not allowed process technology means we cannot associate to any uh, implementation technology they have exactly one output terminal and are implemented as a lookup table in memory they have exactly one output terminal so this is obviously <coughs> uh, you know already we have seen udps are not appropriate method to design a block because they are usually not accepted by synthesis tools self explanatory this one so udps are not supported by synthesis tools only for functionality checking udp state table should be specified as completely as possible because we are defining how the hardware should be here so we have to keep in mind all possible cases it should use shorthand symbols to combine table entries wherever possible so we will see in next session shorthand symbols for udps okay thank you